Well, hey guys, in today's video, I have a doozy for you because I came across an article the other day in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology that basically exposed a clean beauty marketing lie. I mean, I already knew it was a lie, but it really, really is a lie. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I'm a board certified dermatologist. I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the thumbs up. It really helps my videos out a lot. If you didn't already know, clean beauty is complete BS. It doesn't really mean anything. It's not regulated. I mean, one brand's definition of clean doesn't fit another brand's definition of clean. Really, it's this nebulous terminology that fear mongers unnecessarily different ingredients despite no scientific evidence to support the claims against these ingredients as a way to sell you more expensive products. They love to fear monger certain preservatives and one family of ingredients that they really love to fear monger are those that are derived from petroleum, mineral oil, petrolatum, and liquid paraffin. They love to claim that these ingredients are toxic despite evidence to the contrary because these ingredients have been used in medicine since 1872 with a lot of established benefits, not harms to human health. And I'll get into that later in the end, towards the end of the video. Petroleum derived ingredients, they don't get into the skin at all. They form a film on the top layer of the skin and that's actually how they work to your advantage in skincare products. They help to lubricate the skin surface and importantly, they reduce what's called transepidermal water loss out of the skin. That ultimately allows for your skin to stay moisturized, hydrated, and helps your skin barrier function better. Also, because they form that film, they're great to put on a cut, a scrape, or a wound because they create a barrier allowing new healthy skin cells to come into the wound and fill in the wound defect, allowing for better healing. This is why petroleum derived products are used in medicine on cuts, scrapes, and surgical wounds. Uh, if you've ever had a surgery, they have put petroleum jelly products on your skin uh, because they work. Many clean beauty brands will boast that their products are petrochemical free, free of petroleum. So this paper that I ran across gathered a handful of products making these claims from the clean beauty movement. And they actually did an analysis on these products and found that mm, they actually do have petrochemical derived ingredients. And they identified their products just by searching online using terms like clean, uh, petrochemical free. And so that's how they came up with this list of 11 products. They then used radiocarbon isotope analysis and found that 100% of these products did in fact have ingredients of petrochemical origin. Anywhere from 6% upwards of 28% petrochemical ingredient content in these products. To be clear, that doesn't scare me. I think it's, you know, valuable, but they're marketing these products to an audience that they have made fearful of these ingredients. And in reality, the product still has these ingredients. Here are the products that were examined and found to be guilty. Babo Botanical Sensitive Baby Fragrance Free Shampoo, Baja Baby Shampoo and Body Wash in the Soft Citrus Scent, BEB or Beb Organic Bubbly Wash All-in-One for Hair and Body, Ever Eden Baby Shampoo and Body Wash Fragrance Free, Gaia Natural Baby Shampoo, Organics Babies by Green People Baby Wash and Shampoo in the Lavender Scent, Live Clean Baby Gentle Moisture Tearless Shampoo and Wash, Pipette Baby uh, Shampoo and Wash, Puracy Naturals Baby Shampoo and Wash in the Citrus Grove Scent, Pura Door Baby All-in-One baby wash with organic aloe vera. And then last but not least, Shea Moisture, raw shea, chamomile, and argan oil, baby wash and shampoo with frankincense and myrrh. Sounds biblical. I'm not like saying these are bad products because personally I've actually used myself a lot of these products. I love the Babo Botanicals baby shampoo and I also love the Ever Eden baby shampoo. I use them to wash my hair and my face. Uh, I have used them. They're good products. But the claim that they're making is false. They have ingredients of petrochemical origin, at least by this analysis. What better audience to fear monger to than parents, caregivers of young children? Nobody wants to put a cancer causing toxin on a baby. However, there is zero evidence of any harm to human health from putting petroleum derived ingredients on the skin, whether it be uh, my favorite, <laughs> petrolatum, 
uh, or mineral oil, another favorite, or liquid paraffin. These ingredients are actually helpful for the skin. There's absolutely no reason to be fearful of these ingredients. I know what you're thinking. How is it that these companies can get away with making this kind of claim uh, when their products were found to actually have ingredients of petrochemical origin? Well, it's simple. Products, cosmetic products, they are not regulated as drugs and these claims are not regulated. So I am pointing this out to you guys because there are a lot of claims that brands make about their products that mean nothing. This is one such example, petrochemical free. They don't even have to prove that it's petrochemical free. They just have to look at the ingredients and say, well, there's no, we didn't put any mineral oil in this. We didn't put any petroleum jelly in this. So it must be petrochemical free, but they're not required to do any analysis. This group did just to prove a point that there's no basis for these claims. And you know, the results are telling that 100% of these products actually do have ingredients of petrochemical origin. Where does it come from? If they're not putting it in there and they're not adding it, where does it come from? I did not know this, but apparently mineral oil is used by farmers and has been used by farmers for eons as a pesticide and miticide to treat plants. And it's even an approved pesticide for organic farming. So a product can use organic plants that were treated with mineral oil and it's possible that that then makes its way into the skincare product. Um, also, many of, the, many of these products, as you noted from the list, do have fragrance. It's very likely that the botanic extracts in the fragrance were plants that were treated with mineral oil as a pesticide or you know, miticide. Many people want to avoid um, petroleum-derived ingredients in skincare products because um, petroleum is a non-renewable resource. Uh, however, more than 50% of the ingredients that are used in cosmetics are derived wholly or in part from the petroleum industry. So it's virtually impossible to avoid it altogether. And seeking out products that are free of uh, petrolatum, mineral oil, liquid paraffin is unlikely to make much of a difference. Products are transported in vehicles that are fueled by petroleum-based ingredients, gasoline, and they are likely stored in plastic containers in a warehouse somewhere, another petroleum-derived ingredient. So it's impossible to avoid this. And I know people who are, you know, trying to minimize harm to the environment, they realize that they can't eliminate all possible issues, but going out of your way to avoid mineral oil, liquid paraffin, or petrolatum, it's unlikely making much of a dent, given that over 50% of ingredients in skincare products are going to be some sort of byproduct from the petroleum industry. In my opinion, and this is just my opinion, if you want to minimize the use of this, keep your skincare routine very simple, minimize the number of products that you use. I mean, that would be my tip. And I don't fault the consumer for trying to choose products that have the least impact on the environment. Where I have issue is when I go into Target or I go into any store and I see shelves upon shelves upon shelves of skincare products, new brands launching 10, 15, 20 products all at once under the guise of being eco-friendly and you know, using the claims of petrochemical free to lure consumers in thinking that they are choosing products that are going to have a better footprint on the environment when as hopefully I'm illustrating here, it's, a, it's not a substantiated claim. As I said at the beginning of the video, mineral oil, liquid paraffin, and petrolatum, they have tremendous benefit for human health. I mean, medicinally speaking, there are numerous uses of these ingredients with zero evidence of any harm to human health. But where these clean beauty organizations start their fear mongering is they leave out a tiny detail, and that is the purification and the grade of the mineral oil in the case of skincare products. There are different grades, just like there are different grades of fuel, there are different grades of mineral oil. You have technical mineral oil, which is what is used by machinists uh, to lubricate engines and things like that. 
And there's no purification really with technical mineral oil. And there is an association of an increased cancer risk in machinists compared to the general population, thought to be due to exposure to technical mineral oil, perhaps. However, that is technical mineral oil. There is no technical grade mineral oil in any skincare, personal care product, medical grade product, nothing like that, that you are going to be putting on your skin. Then you have cosmetic grade mineral oil, which is purified and any potential uh, harmful compounds are completely removed from cosmetic grade mineral oil. Now, some people worry that the purification of cosmetic grade mineral oil is not good enough. And some people worry that cosmetic grade mineral oil still can be irritating to the skin. But one up from that is actually pharmaceutical grade mineral oil, which is as pure as pure can be. It is uh, pharmaceutical grade or USP grade mineral oil. It is what is in, pry it from my cold dead hands, Vaseline, uh, a wonderful product for numerous skin issues, um, etc. cetera. Uh, it is what is used in the medical field. What bothers me the most about the fear mongering around uh, petroleum derived ingredients in skincare is petroleum derived ingredients like Vaseline for example, are some of the most effective and affordable, no nonsense products. This is, you know, maybe a few bucks. And this is the brand name Vaseline. You can go and get generic brand Vaseline. It's even less expensive. You don't have to have the brand name of Vaseline. Yeah, I mean, for a household that is on a very strict budget, doesn't have the financial means, this is what, this is something that really can go a long way as far as meeting the needs of skincare. You know, in certain urban areas, uh, there is a higher incidence of really bad eczema. Eczema that is really refractory to treatment and in these urban areas tend to be associated with lower financial means. This is something that can really help those people with eczema and young children with eczema who really don't have the financial resources to go buy Babo Botanicals. And truthfully, as a dermatologist, I would recommend this over any of those clean green beauty products any day for a young child with eczema to put on the skin of young children, 100% would recommend that over anything else because of its track record of safety, efficacy, and affordability. It's an affordable product. The other concern about um, petroleum derived ingredients that I hear a lot of times is that they clog pores. And there's no truth to that either. Human studies fail to substantiate the claim that mineral oil or petrolatum liquid paraffin clog pores. Um, of course, any ingredient left on the skin for a prolonged period of time, you know, in theory could aggravate acne by trapping dirt and whatnot on the surface of the skin. But I really think it's a stretch to call out mineral oil or petroleum based ingredients for doing this when A, as I said, there's no evidence that they actually do that in human studies. And B, you could make that claim then for any skincare product. Uh, any skincare ingredient sits on the surface of the skin, whether it be a natural uh, plant derived wax, a uh, lipid, an oil, a plant oil, you know, jojoba seed oil. You could make that argument really for anything that you put on your skin, that if you don't cleanse the skin and it stays on there, it could trap dirt into the pore. For many people with acne or really oily skin, they do find that products that contain petrolatum or mineral oil feel greasier and they feel like it makes them look shiny. That's fine, I totally understand that. In which case you have another ingredient set that clean beauty loves to fear monger, silicones, which are alternatives. That's what's going to be in oil-free products. And silicones don't have that greasy, heavy feel on the skin. And they um, create, uh, they allow for the better evaporation of sweat off the surface of the skin, as opposed to mineral oil or petrolatum. And therefore they have a shine, an anti-shine effect. So that is why you know, for people with oily, acne prone skin, oil free products are a good choice because they feel better, they look better, but not because mineral oil or any of these ingredients actually clog pores. 
All right, guys, you know I love exposing the clean beauty and marketing lies for what they really are, you know, baseless claims. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.